Hello, my name is Connie Liu. I'm an undergraduate at MIT, and today we're going to be talking about ribosomes and mitochondria. So first we're going to start out with ribosomes. Ribosomes are made out of rRNA, and uh, ribosomes are mostly created by the nucleolus, which is a structure inside the nucleus. So this shaded in part would be the nucleolus within this nucleus. And this nucleolus creates a large subunit and the small subunit of the ribosome. So a ribosome is created out of two separate parts. It ships it out of the nucleus and then it assembles outside of the nucleus. So ribosomes can take on two different forms. They can be free ribosomes and kind of float around the cytoplasm within the cell, or they can be bound ribosomes and then sit on the rough endoplasmic reticulum um, inside the cell. So for bound ribosomes, those ribosomes are normally creating uh, proteins that are destined to be transported at, outside the cell or um, be inserted into membranes. So that's why they have to be made on the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum does a lot of processing and shipping outside of the cell along with the Golgi complex. Free ribosomes mostly create the proteins that are going to be used inside the cell anyway. So um, ribosomes, primarily their job is just to create proteins. Um, we'll go more into how they create proteins in later parts of these videos, but um, for now all you have to know is that they do create proteins and in that case the cells that create a lot of proteins have larger nucleoluses and more um, ribosomes. So those are common traits of uh, cells that create a lot of proteins or need a lot of proteins such as say the pancreas. Now let's move on to the mitochondria. The mitochondria is also a very interesting organelle. Um, it has a double membrane. So as you can see, this is the outer membrane and this is the inner membrane. And the inner membrane has a lot of foldings within it. And those are um, very important as well. Those are known as cristae. So this essentially divides the mitochondria into two different parts. They have here the intermembrane space. So some of the um, processes of uh, cellular respiration, which is how your body generates energy, or ATP, within the mitochondria, uh, is done within the intermembrane space. The rest of it is done within the mitochondria. Um, so the mitochondria's main role is to create energy for your body. And the way it does this is by, um, it has, uh, beside the point, but it has DNA and ribosomes inside what is now the mitochondrial matrix inside here um, that kind of show that it might have been an independent individual cell in some uh, time way back when, uh, before it was incorporated into cells as a whole. So that's just an interesting point to note. But um, cellular respiration happens both inside the intermembrane space and inside the matrix, where you can find a lot of proteins and enzymes that are involved in uh, creating energy from the sugars that we ingest. So that's uh, the essentials of both ribosomes and mitochondria.